Hello, welcome to Biograde TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Blaise Campauri Blaise Campauri served as president of Burkina Faso from 1987 to 2014. He was deputy to President Thomas Sankara during the 1980s before masterminding a coup d'etat in October 1987 that brought him into power. He was elected and re-elected in 1991, 1998, 2005, and 2010 in what many considered unfair circumstances. He was forced to flee the country to Ivory Coast in 2014 during the Burkina Bay uprising. Kampauri was born in Ouagadougou, the capital of Upper Volta, now Burkina Faso, and grew up in nearby Zinyare. He rose to the rank of captain in the Voltaic Army. Kampauri met Thomas Sankara in 1976 in a military training center in Morocco and subsequently Kampauri and Sankara became close friends. He played a key role in the coup d'etat against Sae Zerbo and Jean-Baptiste Oedraogo. Under Sankara's leadership, which lasted from 1983 to 1987, Kampauri served as his deputy and was a member of the National Revolutionary Council. He served as Minister of State at the Presidency and later as Minister of State for Justice. Kampauri was very much involved in the 1983 and 1987 coup, taking power after the second in which his predecessor, Sankara, was killed. He was elected president in 1991 in an election that was shunned by the opposition and re-elected in 1998, 2005 and 2010. At the age of 33, Campari organized a coup d'etat which toppled the government of Major Jean-Baptiste Oedraogo on the 4th of August 1983. The coup d'etat had the backing of Libya which was at the time on the verge of war with France and Chad. Other key participants in the coup included Major Jean-Baptiste Bokari Lingani, Captain Henry Zongo, and the charismatic Captain Thomas Sankara, who became president. Campari took power after the coup of 15th October 1987, which claimed Sankara's life. Declining relations with France and Ivory Coast were the reasons cited for the coup. Campari insisted the killing of Sankara was an accident, but the circumstances have never been properly investigated. Upon taking the presidency, he reverted many of Sankara's policies, claiming that his policy was a rectification of the Burkina Bay Revolution. Henry Zongo and Jean-Baptiste Bukari Lingani, who were initially holding power along with Campari, were in September 1989 arrested and charged with plotting to overthrow the government. They were tried and executed. Campari was elected as president in 1991 in an election boycotted by the main opposition parties in protest at the questionable event that brought Campari into office in the first place. Only 25% of the electorate cast their vote. In 1998, he was re-elected. In 2003, several alleged plotters were arrested following accusations of a coup against Campari. In August 2005, he declared his intention to contest the coming presidential election. Opposition politicians fought against this, saying it was unconstitutional due to an amendment in 2000 that limited a president to two terms and reducing term lengths from seven to five years. Campari supporters argued against this, saying that the amendment could not be applied. Finally, in October 2005, the Constitutional Council gave its verdict. Being that Campari was a sitting president in the year 2000, the amendment would not apply until the end of his second term in office. With this judgment, he was able to contest in the 2005 presidential elections and he won. He was again re-elected in 2010. In October 2014, 
a plan to abolish presidential term limits by amending the constitution was announced. This would allow Kampauri seek new terms in office. This move led to the most serious challenge to his 27-year rule. Burkina Bays took to the street in their numbers to demonstrate against the proposed amendment. On the 30th of October, the protest became more violent, with public buildings, including that which housed the National Assembly, set on fire. Kampare declared a state of emergency and dissolved the government. He promised to hold talks with the opposition, but that did little to end the protests. Later that day, the head of the armed forces confirmed the dissolution of the government and declared that a transitional government will be set up. Kampare initially insisted that he would stay on to head the transitional government, but after that proposal met with much resistance, he resigned on the 31st of October and fled to Ivory Coast. In the international community in the years after Kampare seized power, he faced a difficult task in overcoming his reputation as the murderer of Sankara, who had attracted a considerable following throughout Western Africa. And in the 1990s, Kampare was accused of being involved in civil conflicts in Sierra Leone, Liberia, and Angola. However, he became a respected regional leader who often mediated disputes in other Western African countries. He mediated the Inter-Togolese Dialogue, which held in Ouagadougou in August 2006 and resulted in an agreement between the government and opposition parties. He has also acted as mediator in the crisis in Ivory Coast and helped broker the peace agreement between Ivorian President Lauren Gbagbo and new forces leader Guilherme Mesoro in Ouagadougou on the 4th of March 2007. Kampari also served as the chairman of various regional bodies, including the Organization of African Unity, the Economic Community of West African States, and the West African Economic and Monetary Union. What have we missed out on this biography of Kampari? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.